All right, so it's about time to wrap up the Apathy demo breakdown series. I'm going to talk about the lyrics to the last song that's Reflections. The story here is about someone that's running away from himself. It's told in second person from the perspective of his reflection, hence the title of the song. So the original idea for this song was to write it as if it were a breakup song with elements of, you know, the stalker element to it, but to have it also in the context of someone breaking up with themselves. I eventually incorporated these elements of mental disorders, like hallucinations, whispers, voices, and it ends up being a song about someone trying to escape from their mental demons. So like a lot of my songs, the lyrics basically started off with the opening line, Yesterday, I thought I heard you saying that you had wanted to leave again. Just last night, I thought I heard you praying. When did you start to believe again? Um, on the actual recording of the song, I accidentally sang saying twice instead of praying the second time, and I didn't catch that until like way into the production when I was mixing, so uh, it sounds like I'm saying saying twice, but the actual lyric there should be praying, when did you start to believe? Uh, at the time, these were just basically random words that I put together. I thought it sounded kind of cool. Um, for a really long time, I had no idea what to do with it, but until I eventually had this idea of writing a breakup song, but not a breakup song, because I think breakup songs are stupid. Uh, but yeah, I, I really think I had a hard time writing the lyrics for this compared to everything else. I know I've rewritten this song at least once, the entire thing, and I made a lot of changes here and there before settling on what would become the final lyrics. I think a main reason for this, as you'll see when I start to go through the rest of the song, is that um, at the time I was really obsessed with making everything rhyme. Everything, like every word had to rhyme with every word, and it had to have head rhyme, internal rhymes, rhyming across verses, rhyming across sections. Basically, I was just trying to force everything to rhyme, and at the end of the day, I think that was actually hurting. It was making it harder for me to write these songs because I wasn't being smart about it. I was just putting rhymes wherever they fit. Um, you know, I've since wised up to that a little bit, used it more sparingly. But, you know, in the songs, there's a lot of parallel rhyming, and you'll really see that as I go through the lyrics. Uh, the next section is where we start to reveal more details because the first two lines really don't say anything about what the song is going to be about. But when we get to the next part, as you slept, Converged on by your demons, they'd reinvoke your fears. As you dreamt, confronted by your secrets, you woke in sweat and tears. So now we know that this person's struggling with some sort of reoccurring dreams, these nightmares that's following him around. The next section reveals even more and more. So, the sun possessed your eyes, hunted by the light, trapped within a cage. So basically, this person's waking up. The whispers in your mind, haunting like a blight feeding on your rage. As soon as he gets up, you know, he starts to hear these whispers, these hallucinations, and it starts to unnerve him. Grew a nervous tick to your own image, lashing at the surface, threw a vicious fit, threw it with a fist, leaving me in fragments. So here he has a counter, an encounter, a physical encounter with his reflection in the mirror, which causes him to smash it into pieces. The section afterwards, Though you left, I couldn't help but follow, watching closely from afar, through the glass, searching for tomorrow, but nothing you foresaw. So here this is where the idea of your reflection being your stalker is. It's you know basically everywhere, wherever there's metal, glass, water. It's not something that you can run away or hide from. So this person who you know has this fear of his reflections, it's manifesting just basically wherever he goes, and it feels this paranoia that he's being stalked. So after this, we get to the clean section. What happens production-wise is that we have the guitar on one side, the vocals on the other side, and as the section plays out, they cross over to the other piece, and it's supposed to symbolize how you know he's being encompassed, surrounded by these whispers. The section is whisper growled. If I could redo it again, I think it would be better if I kept the guitar in one spot and then had the vocals, had every line just appear in a different spot, and I think that would create an even more a greater effect to simulate the audio hallucinations that someone might get if they have something like schizophrenia. So anyway, the lyrics are, In the rain, fending off the voices, my face appeared before your eyes. In the end, reflecting on your choices, there was no place left to hide. So basically he sees his reflection in a puddle of water and just understands that there's no way he can run from these demons. They're always going to be with him for the rest of his life. And that leads us into the instrumental section. So the instrumental section does a good job of 
basically wrapping the song up, preparing us to start all over again from the beginning of the song. And the next section is written to basically parallel the introduction. So the lyrics there are, Yesterday, I heard you self-conversing, always craving to be free. Just last night, I heard you contemplating, having overcome your fears. So he basically ends up back at the beginning, back to where he started. And this leads us to the very final verse. The pieces on the ground, within you saw yourself, found a true escape. Grabbed the broken glass, bleeding from your hands, time to leave the pain. Placed it on the skin, tracing down the vein, deeper than the scars. Blood came running warm, trickling down your arms, bringing you the darkness. So just basically a very graphic depiction of a literal suicide as opposed to in Keeper where it was more of a figurative idea. So yeah, overall the song's very straightforward, not very poetic. Um, I guess it's appropriate because the story itself, it's very ugly, you know, the way it's portrayed. So anyway, that's the song Reflections, that's the lyrics. Um, that's basically going to wrap it up for the whole demo. I know there are a couple of other things I skipped over, like composition and production, so I might revisit this material later at another point. But I do have some good news. Uh, right now, I do have other ideas that I want to start talking about. You know, this whole time that I've been making these videos, I've been planning on what I want to have as the future series for discussions. So if you've been waiting on new content, things like lessons, um, I'll have an update video to go into detail for a couple of days. 